There's like sauce all over it and I cannot be effed right now. I'll save these. Ooh. Ah. I'm gonna have to make more of that. Literally just one word, wow. Yum. Oh, juice everywhere. <laughs> Going. Good. What is this meeting in my calendar for? Well, I thought I'd give you a little challenge. Oh, I love a challenge. I've decided that it's probably time for me to get out of the chaotic kitchen and maybe get you in the chaotic kitchen. I am going to challenge you to make every single meal in a pie maker for 24 hours. Now, what's a pie maker? Pretty much just like a jaffel iron, but for pies. Like I can't use a stove, I can't use a pot or a pan microwave, mm. just use that for 24 hours. Chuck everything out, bring in the pie maker, because every single bit of food that goes in your body has to come out of the pie maker. Oh my God, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm down for this. Yeah, I'm gonna get Ooh. started on this straight away. Amazing, I'm so excited to see what you come up with. Where do I get it? Kmart, where else? Okay. The way that this is all going to work is I'm going to grade every meal between one and five stars. And then at the end of the challenge, the pie maker is going to get an overall rating. Good morning. It is sunny. It is early. I am tired. <sighs> what do I even put in a pie maker? So usually I'd go for something like bacon and eggs on toast for breakfast. Let's try and recreate that in the pie maker. Let's get the pie maker out of the cupboard. Oh, why did I put it all the way up here? So I've got some eggs here. Oh, I don't have bacon. Mm. I've got ham, so let's try it. Let's get the ham out. So surely can't see bread in the pie maker. I've got potatoes. How about this? What if I use potatoes and do like a potato rusty kind of thing, like a, a little hash brown cup? I feel like that could work. Let's make it work. So I've got my ingredients here for breakfast. I'm going to grate the potatoes. That's all done there. Have to spray it with some oil. Then I'm going to put them into the pie maker and I'm gonna hopefully create like a pie shell with it. Oh, you can hear the sizzle. Chop up the ham, like dice it up, and then add that into like one of the spare pie holes. Okay, let's get the eggs in. Perfect. And pray to the breakfast gods that this cooks. I, yeah, usually in a pan when you're cooking, you can obviously see how your egg's changing. Not being able to see is a little bit annoying. Oh, the eggs are cooked. I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna eat breakfast because I'm getting hungry. Then I'm gonna sprinkle the ham on top. It's gonna be nice and crispy. The final touch, add a little bit of a garnish, some parsley which I've chopped. And that will be my breakfast. Let's see how it tastes though. Is the potato cooked through? Is the egg yolky? I've gotta know. <gasps> we got a yolk, a runny yolk. You know what, I think this was a success. I'm pretty happy with that. The eggs cooked through, the ham is actually crispy. The potato, it was almost perfect. I think the potato just needed to be a little bit crispier. Pie maker, you've done your job, you fed me, and out of five, I'm gonna score this a four. Oh, I've got a work meeting to get to. In like five minutes. <laughs> So for lunch, I am going to make an okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki is basically a Japanese pancake. For the ingredients, we have some cabbage, shiitake mushrooms and egg noodles. We've got spring onions, milk, flour and eggs. So it's gonna come together like a pancake batter. I wanna add some cheese to try and like melt it and then that's gonna make like a gooey cheese sauce. So let's see if we can get that to work. So starting with the cabbage, Want it to be nice and thin. Next up, I'm going to add the shiitake mushrooms. And egg noodles. Just separate them by hand so they kind of come in the pack, like oiled. Spring onions, adding all of this into the bowl. Salt, some pepper. 
So I'm just gonna toss all this and make sure that it gets a good mix through. We'll get another bowl happening. Add some flour into a bowl. Then I'm gonna add the eggs in. I reckon three eggs. And some milk. Okay, I'm gonna give that a stir. I kind of want it to be runny. I don't want it to be too thick. Okay, I'm gonna put them into a separate bowl. Looking good. So I've got my okonomiyaki mixture finished. I'm gonna put it into the pie case and hopefully we'll have lunch soon. I'm gonna do three. Feel that's a good substantial lunch. Just before they're ready. Okay, I can see they're starting to brown. So I'm gonna add mozzarella cheese into this pocket and then close it and now we wait. That looks so good to me. Okay, I think it's time we plate this up. Wow, look at that. And then I have this Stubbs barbecue sauce. It actually just makes everything taste so good. So I'm gonna drizzle that on. I've got some Kewpie mayo. Kewpie is legit Japanese mayonnaise. Now for the best part. Yum. I'm gonna put some coriander on because I love coriander. <sighs> so good. Time to dig in and let's eat. Yum. I'm so happy right now. This isn't quite taking me to Japan, but whatever it is, the flavors are really good. Overall, I'm gonna give this meal a 4.5 out of five. So I am mid work at the moment and I'm actually a little bit peckish. I feel like I need to put this pie maker to good use. So I'm gonna go whip it out. We're gonna see what I've got in my fridge and we're gonna make a little shack. So let's do it. Oh, okay. Maybe this will work. I've got some leftover spag bowl. So let's stick this in. Oh, sizzle. I have waited two minutes and now we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, it's still very soft. Take it out in the bowl that it is. So it's not exactly turned out how I had envisioned, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna add some parsley on just to do a final garnish. I'm gonna call them my pasta boobs because that's what they look like to me. They've even kind of got nipples going on. No, oh, it does not hold its shape at all. This is so disappointing. Still tastes good, but it's got like burnt pieces of cheese on the outside, which have gone crispy, and that actually tastes really good. Like it's a different texture than your normal pasta. So if I'm gonna give this a little bit of a ranking, unfortunately, it didn't do what I wanted it to do. It's not in pie form. I can't like eat it with my hands. So therefore, this one gets a one out of five. It's still delicious, but unfortunately, the execution just wasn't perfect. What a day it has been. It's getting close to dinner time, so time to get this on. So for dinner, I'm making dumplings. I really wanted to be creative. I really wanted to put the pie maker to the test. The first thing that we need to do is we're going to use spring onions. I'm just gonna use one. We want this to be nice and small so that when it goes into the filling, you don't get large chunky bits of spring onion in your mouth. Because I had the shiitake mushrooms in the okonomiyaki, I thought better not let them go to waste, so I'm gonna use it all. Okay, so we've got the shiitake mushrooms and spring onions in there. I'm just gonna add two cloves of minced garlic. I'm gonna do some ginger because ginger is the bomb. And then coriander. Take off any of the dirty leaves. Chop this up just as fine as I did the spring onions. Coriander is going in the bowl. And that is pretty much all of our veggies done. So I basically have just one pack of pork, salt and pepper. And we'll add all those veggies in, crack an egg in, and we will combine. Now we have these gyoza wrappers. To start, we're gonna take a gyoza wrapper. We're basically gonna lay it down. I'm gonna get a scoop of pork. I'm gonna add that into the middle. Gonna wet my finger using some water from this bowl. And we're just gonna go around this gyoza wrapper, just the one. Take that second one, put it on top. It's 
basically going to clamp down like a ravioli. Okay, that's it. That's four dumplings all ready to go into the pie machine. Let's get them cooking because I'm starving. They're actually fitting perfectly. They look like little stars when they're going in. We want to make sure that they don't burn. So I'm going to add some water in so that they can start steaming. So while I've got them just finishing up, I'm going to do some soy sauce in here, some chili oil. So that's going to be my first dipping sauce. And then for my second one, I'm going to use more of that kewpie and just a dash of Keen's curry powder. It's kind of got a, a bit of a sweetness to it. I'll save these. Oh, fuck. Ugh. I'm going to have to make more of that. They look good. They're looking full, they're looking filling. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna plate them up. Spring onions make everything taste so much better. And I've obviously got this soy chili sauce that I've created. So I'm gonna pour that on. Literally just one word, wow. Let's give it a go. Mmm, the pork. Yum. This is like one of my favorite sauces. This has been the biggest success that I've had today. They taste good, they look good, they cooked the way that I intended them to cook. So for that reason, I'm giving the pie maker a five out of five on dinner. Totally blown it out of the ballpark. Now we've just got one final meal to go and that's dessert. So we have puff pastry, we've got some caramel milk, I'm doing some raspberries in the middle. Now it is time to get it in. Okay, here we go. Please work. Okay, I'm gonna take it out. They look good, I feel happy with them. They're brown, they look like a pie should look, and they're gonna be melty and gooey and soft in the center. Garnish with some icing sugar. And I'm gonna serve it with a side of soft vanilla ice cream. It's my last meal for the challenge. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. Mmm. Wow, 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 wow. It's a very sweet pie. It probably doesn't need the ice cream. On its own though, that caramel chocolate and that raspberry are perfect together. This was the best end to the challenge. I'm gonna give it a five. Desserts and the pie machine go hand in hand. Now we have to go look at the overall ranking of the pie maker and the outcome was this. Okay, that's it for me. If you wanna see me do another 24 hour challenge, let me know what you wanna see and we'll make it happen.